If you're a real estate agent and you want to know how to position yourself as an authority using social media so that you get more business, watch this interview that I do with Howard Fletcher as he describes to you the exact steps of what to do to be able to be top of mind for your people through using social media. Technology changed and we became more connected. I didn't stop doing the social things. We weren't in the situation we are now um, with the pandemic, but I found that through what turned into being called social media that I could touch a lot more people. And so what spurred conversation I found was when people thought that you were a source of information for something. So when I say position myself as an expert, I wanna be very clear that while I have a lot of experience and a lot of things, I don't use that uh, uh, adjective to describe myself uh, very much. You can use media, uh, and I have used media, to position myself as an expert by discussing topics that people want to know, get information about. Now, as of late, it was in the form of a podcast, Barrel Tasting with Howard Fletcher, where I was interviewing winemakers, spirit distillers, and craft brewers in the, D in the DMV primarily in Maryland and Northern Virginia. Um, and you, you might ask, how, what does that have to do with real estate? Because, you know, I, I wasn't doing a real estate podcast, but because because people saw me as a resource to get information about wineries and wine country and things around that. And those people happen to be able to buy and sell real estate. I use that as a way to develop my business and, and you know, farm for referrals. And so my, you know, my, my message today is whatever you can do to uh, be a source of information on whatever it is that you're interested in, find a way to parlay that into your real estate business. Cause I guarantee you that if people come start coming to you for that, and they find out that you're relate, you're, 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 you have a real estate business and you can, and you're competent, it'll help your business. You want to be somewhere, you know, a, a source of something that's consistent and and, and worth returning to. So Got whether it. that's uh, art or fashion or, or sports or real estate, um, as long as it's something that people can associate with you and they want, they seek you out for information, whether it's just to entertain themselves or they're actually looking at you as a source of information, that's an opportunity to open the conversation or at least reveal to them that you're a real estate professional and this is what you do. I, early on in my career, I was taught and I've come to believe that that is one of the biggest, but that's one of the biggest things you need to do is to position yourself top of mind. When people think real estate, they should think of you. There is so much abundance of clients available that you could collaborate even locally like you and I did. It's a growth thing, yeah. totally. Yeah. Open houses, I used to not, I, well, I didn't like doing open houses on houses that I that I was not the listing agent for. Okay. Open houses for me were listing opportunities. I was not that agent who would go in and get a bunch of buyers or even get a buyer out of an open house. Have I gotten buyers out of open house? Yes, but I've taken a lot of swings at the plate. Open houses are a tremendous place to find buyers now. So yeah. guess what Howard's got to do? I got to go learn that skill at 21 years in how to develop a buyer out of an open house. I mean, I'm, I, I'm sure I'm a quick study. I'm, I'm sure I don't have, well, have a lot of problems with it, but I do know this, it's, I'm, I have a, I have a de deficit there. I, I, I there, I'm not as good as I've seen agents day one, be better buyer open house agents than I am. And so I need to learn that. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell icon. Got it. So how are, I'm curious, what do you what do you really truly value? <laughs> What's the meaning of life? <laughs> I didn't expect this on live, I'll go on live. So I would say I value relationships. Yeah. Um, and I've come to value relationships because I didn't, I wasn't always the best at cultivating them. Mm. And so, you know, they say, you, you know, you, you don't know what, to, what you have until it's gone. And I, you know, sometimes I say, wow, I should, you know, I really should have kept in touch with this person or, or done that. And I can rekindle some of that stuff, but, um, relationships I value a, a lot of relationships and I've come to value the older I get, you know, every day you keep waking up and you f figure out you're going to be around here for a while. You better keep, you know, 
it's 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 going to be your that's what you carry around that's your legacy that's what you carry around with you and so i i do value that a lot is integrity reputation and relationships